Hey guys, Titanium J52 here with a review of Ninjago Set 70503, The Golden Dragon. This set retailed for $30 in the US back in its release date in 2013, had 252 pieces and 3 minifigs. So uh, first let's get into the minifigs. The, uh, the highlight for this set, obviously, is going to be Lloyd in his golden ninja suit. Uh, he's armed with the Dragon Sword of Fire in this set. Um, this golden version of Golden Lloyd only appeared in three sets. This being the um, middle set in regards to expense. The cheapest set was the LEGO Dimensions Lloyd Fun Pack. And the most expensive set was the Temple of Light. Um, as you can see here, he's got some nice gold robe printing with kind of green highlights in there. I think it looks really good. And then underneath he has this weird golden face, which isn't accurate to the show, as he just had his regular face, but I think it's alright. I think it looks looks pretty nice. Um, gold arms, gold hands, gold armor, pretty much everything about this guy is gold. And um, this back printing here with the energy symbol. And, uh, yeah, overall, a really great fig. If you were after this fig in 2013, this was probably the set you were buying. Um, next up, we've got the st a Stone Warrior. It's uh, kind of difficult for you to see his face print, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, he's armed with a large hammer here, brick built. Um, he's got the... Uh, three-piece helmet underneath that he has this red angry face which this particular face I believe only appeared on two minifigs which were, actually it was one minifig that appeared in two sets being this minifig um, he's got this red shoulder armor piece the I believe the piece was new for 2013 if it wasn't it was probably new in this color um, he's got the printing little bit reflective he's got it's mostly red with the green symbol in the middle and then he's got more um, armor he has uh, red arms and on the back uh, more armor shown with some silver reflectiveness in there so yeah that is the stone warrior and then lastly is the stone scout um, he came with the red version of this um, rice hat. I'll remove that so you can see the face. He was also armed with a crossbow and um, he had kind of a simpler version of armor. The symbol was larger and he had less armor on him. Uh, yeah. uh, he had short legs I guess uh, showing that he was the lowest rank and then he had a quiver in the back with um, uh, more minimal armor. I believe the they use the same torso for the Stone Army Swordsman as well, but uh, different legs, obviously. So yeah, uh, first we're going to get into this uh, side build here before we get into the main Golden Dragon. This was a, uh, a catapult and weapons rack here. Um, it, it has a few weapons. It has this samurai sword piece, I guess. I'm not entirely sure what this is called, but this is a nice sword piece. It was only in a few Ninjago sets at the time, so it was really nice to get. Uh, empty clip here for the hammer, a piece of dynamite, and a spear. And there was kind of a little bit of a built up slopes on the back. Um, and then here we have a bit of a catapult. And uh, you could put the dynamite here, but uh, that's no fun. You can take the scout instead and. Uh, Oh, well that failed. Well, the idea is to launch him at the dragon. And since he's a stone warrior, he's probably more durable than a piece of dynamite. And he might do more damage, maybe. But um, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty fun action f feature back when I got this set. Uh, that was really nice. Um, now we get on to the main golden dragon. Uh, Lloyd can be right in here. He can stand. I believe he could also sit. 
Um, let's see. Uh, yes, he can. So he can sit and ride his golden dragon. Um, golden dragon has articulation in the neck here for the head, and then one of the ball shooters. You squeeze the head, and it goes flying. This is the projectile here. It's just a green ball. And um, that's a really nice touch. That was the shoot. This was the last Ninjago Dragon to have this shooter, and also the last Ninjago Dragon to have these molded heads, these uh, special pieces. The same type of mold was used for the Earth Dragon in 2011, and for one for the Earth Dragon head on the Ultra Dragon in 2012. Um, the wings are can be moved like this, and they can be folded up and folded out. Uh, claws at the end. The legs have articulation in the hips, I guess. Uh, forward and back and out. Uh, no articulation in the feet. And they had these large claw pieces here. Um, some flags here. Uh, nice dark green flags. I like those pieces. And then a tail which is articulated with ball joints, two ball joints, and then the blades, which you can move a little bit if you want. I don't think they're really intended to to move very much as an action fe feature, but you can do that if you want to. So, uh, yeah. Um, this was my first Ninjago Dragon back when I was collecting Ninjago, and I have to say I really liked it at the time. Now, I don't think the model holds up as well compared to the newer dragons. The newer dragons just have a bit more detail and and whatnot to them. A lot more, just a lot more compared to the dragon, the original dragons in the first few years of Ninjago. But this dragon was also really nice. At the time, I think it was really nice to get the gold pieces and the uh, darker green pieces. I think those were two really nice colors, and they looked really well for this dragon. And plus, the golden ninja figure in this set is pretty good. The uh, the stone warriors were mess. You could get this guy in a cheaper set and this guy in a cheaper set, so it's like doesn't really matter too much. The catapult's fun, I guess, for little kids, but if you're an adult collector, it's not really going to have much value. Uh, the dragon, I guess, is okay um, if you're just collecting and displaying. But um, this set is really geared more towards kids. And I think that makes sense because kids are going to want the golden ninja. They're going to want the main ninja. They're going to want his awesome dragon. And they're going to want to send stone warriors flying at it for fun. So, um... If you have the opportunity to get this set, um, depending on your age and what you like in a set, if you um, if you like the playability functions and you like the figs, then I'd say go for it. If you're just displaying or whatnot, then I'd probably say pass unless you really want the parts. If you're a parts collector, this this set has several good parts but um but yeah that's my recommendation so yeah um that's gonna do it for this video uh if you agree with my opinions about the golden dragon then feel free to comment it down below if you don't you can also comment that down below and uh if you want a, a ninjago set reviewed chances are i have it um so comment it down below if i don't have it i'll let you know and if i do have it i'll let you know so, um, that's all for this video. This is Titanium J52. See you in the next one.